Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today, for being here, spending even a little portion of your day with me. I really appreciate it and I'm very excited for today's video because we are going to be talking about one of my favorite historical events ever and I think one of the more impactful historical events in the entire world. Any guesses? Frenemies! Yes, if you got it. Good job! So we're going to be talking about that and I saw this pop up on the H3 Podcast Highlights channel and when I saw it, let me tell you something, I'm a simple gal. I see frenemies, I'm a click. I see Ethan and Trisha together, I'm a click. And that is exactly <laughs> what happened this time, it worked. Anything to do with frenemies, I'm sorry, listen, whether you endorse Trisha Paytas whether you endorse Ethan Klein, whether you hate them both, hate one or the other, I'm, something about frenemies to me, that is a moment in time. And above anything, call, call me the worst person in the world, I must still be interested in it. And if they did a frenemies reunion, I'd be watching. So, take anything I say with a pinch of salt. But whenever I saw that they had made this, it was basically Ethan and the crew talking about uh, Frenemies and the enemies that they created during Frenemies, the beef that they started with Trisha, the beef they started with other people. And so I started watching this and I actually wanted to stop myself because one of my favorite things to do is watching things for the first time with you. So I've seen a couple minutes of this and then I stopped it and I was like, I need to watch this with the muckers. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hi, very excited for today's video. Please make sure you're subscribed. I know YouTube unsubscribes people, but I'm not going to pull a Death Noodles and say I'm shadow banned because I'm not. Um, but yeah, it is a true thing that people do get unsubscribed. And also, a lot of people who watch are not subscribed. So please consider it. All right, let's get to this. So the title of this is called Ethan Regrets the Beef That Was Started During Frenemies. All right, let's watch this and let's get to it, baby, because I... I'm a whore for anything that it has to do with frenemies. I'm also going to Lady Gaga in like a couple hours. I went last night as well. I I got a lot of messages from a lot of you saying have a great time at the concert. I really appreciate that. I'm going again today. And then that's me. And then that's me. No more Gaga for me. Until um, the last show. God, who else did I burn like a totally burned with from frenemies? Oh, I would because like, I think now's the time. time. I mean like my, my what, how many steps are there in the alcoholic? 12, 12. Yeah, I'm doing like 12 steps. We have to go. I, I, have to go. I apologize to everyone. I, I seem to recall, this wouldn't be up to date, but um, in uh, I'm getting ready to follow this here. Ian put together a pretty comprehensive list. Mm. Oh, uh, for the road. When he like pulled yeah. down the uh, scroll. By the way, um, I'm, I'm, I, I'm prepared to apologize to Dave Port, no, for Portcock for the intro. So we'll see if, that, if we make this one. I'm just saying the road is open. <laughs> All right, Dave Portcock. <laughs> here, he's looking. Come on, he's a funny guy. He gets it. He's got a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. well, what, give me the list. Yeah, let's, let's see some of them. Let's see. Yeah, here he's got pulled. Leapy is here. Um, no. Not Stephen Crowder. No. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Greg Paul, Jeff Wittick, Joe Rogan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, all those people suck. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe I'm not done. I'm not done. I was gonna make exceptions, okay. except Jeff, who's my best friend now. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a lot of people in there. And, and then I think I don't know. Maybe went too hard on Joe Rogan. Mm. Okay. It's hard to say. The thing about Joe Rogan is that he's friends with so many of my good friends that it makes stuff kind of weird sometimes. So I don't know. It's like one of those things where it's like, should I just? I don't mean to interrupt already, but what I'm gonna say is the fact that there's a list of beef that happened on fr This is a long clip, by the way, which is why I have it sped up a bit. I know a lot of you like watching my videos on 2x speed. I'm the exact same with any content I watch. I would put it to normal speed for this video because I'm trying to get through the entire thing, so I'm not cutting them off, but it's quite a long video, so this video would be exceptionally long for no reason. Um, but it's so crazy whenever you think about it, like how much drama was happening during Frenemies. How much drama started because of Frenemies? And I'm, listen, we can, we can call a spade a spade. That is exactly what happened on Frenemies. So many internet moments happened because of that damn show. Let's not forget that David Dobrik's cancellation was basically, am I bad for saying fueled by Frenemies? And I mean, for better or for worse, I think for better, you know, that that happened to David. The James Charles scandals. There were so many big YouTuber moments. The Shane Dawson thing, whenever Trisha jumped off his, you know, a high horse. Like, there were so many moments that you would go to Frenemies for every single week to find out what was happening with these big contenders on YouTube. And it's so crazy to me that at a time on the internet, we were going to Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein for our reliable coverage of other YouTubers. Uh, listen, and I still think a lot of what they said about a lot of these YouTubers still stands the test of time. A lot of it doesn't, obviously. 
And Trisha, you know, flip-flopped on her opinions with a lot of people in front of me because she's in this no drama era. But it's so crazy to think about, right? Who was your favorite drama that they started? Like, not talk about Joe, but at the same time, it's like, he's such an idiot. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, you got it. <laughs> well, anyway, Joe, I don't, Joe probably barely knows I exist, so it's not really an issue. Um, but, you know, like, Tom Segura is a good friend of mine. And, like, you know, he's a, obviously a good friend of yeah. Joe's, too. He's always on the show and stuff. And Whitney, too. Yeah, Whitney, who's coming up with, yeah, Whitney's coming on the show. But what was it? There's someone else in there I wanted to. Jeff Whitney, if you wanted to. Jeff Whitney, uh, is bestie. There's someone else. Uh, oh, the ones I listed already? I think that was it. But I mean, there's, there's more names. What? There's a lot more names. You want to go? Yeah, well, what'd you say? <laughs> you said there's Ninja? Oh, we'll get to Ninja. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ninja, Dark. Uh, Jay Station, Sky Sire, no. Oh, and by the way, it was Olivia from H3's birthday, I think yesterday or the day before. Olivia is my favorite of the entire team. Olivia, the muckers are sending you our love. Happy birthday. I know I wish she privately, but publicly, Olivia, we love you, happy birthday, we hope you're doing well, and we love you. You're, you, we trust you, we trust you, we will be listening to you. But yes, happy birthday, Olivia, we all love you. Wait, go fuck her down. Okay, <laughs> Jay Station, Jay Station, no, Scotty Sire. Scotty, I probably, I don't need beef with Scotty. I definitely don't need beef with Scotty. Well, Scotty's the worst. He's a, he's the Dubrick guy who, for sure, was like, she's like, he made a song glorifying mental health. Oh, right, 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 right. He didn't really, I mean, it wasn't, no, that, that wasn't what it was about. <laughs> what was it about? Was it about? Was it? No, and he made a video calling, he had a screenshot of Seth. Oh, yeah, like, that was pretty rough, Scotty. He ended up deleting the video, and yeah. That was pretty rough, that, that was pretty rough, Scotty. But he seems like ultimately a nice guy, I don't need with Scotty, so. Uh, beef, beef. I mean, also, Dan there is kind of passing off what Scotty did, as like, oh, but, he, but you know, he deleted the video, but no, Scotty was one of the main people that was basically being like, Seth, you're speaking up about SA that had happened to you? Shut the fuck up. That was exactly Scotty's attitude until he got called out enough. So Dan, peace and love. Let's not. Let's destroy them. Anyone know the Cock Destroyers? I love the Cock Destroyers. It's resolved, Scotty. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I released it. Forgives you. I released the beef, and I apologize for <laughs> anything I ever did to you. So that was a little. That was kind of shitty what he did, but it's all good. I mean, we all fuck up, right? I'm not. I'm not saying. Who am I to judge? An older grudge. Which leads me to my next person, which is AB is on the list. <laughs> what did you do? I was around the time that people were saying me and you had beef because of the Trisha situation. Oh, yeah. well, AB's forgiven me. Yeah, oh my god! And also, when Trisha was fighting AB! Trisha did those videos, the, like, infamous, fuck you, AB. Fuck you, AB. Where that came from? Oh my god, I remember when the Trisha AB drama was happening. I was one of the few channels who didn't make a video on it because I was like, ooh, Trisha has crossed the boundary here. And I really do like AB. Um, and whenever she made that video, it was one of the only videos from Trisha I never covered during that time. I wonder if anyone ever caught on that. Because I was like, she's making no valid points here. She is a petty, petty, petty woman. Oh my god, I can't believe that Trisha... Trisha was trying to get AB fired. She should have put that energy on Dan. Um, but I'm kidding, 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 kidding. All love, love you, Dan. Um, but yeah, remember she was trying to get him fired? Material, AB's... Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, right. Kelly, Kelly. Yeah, what about Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some, some don't play Trisha, fair enough. I mean, obviously, I made, I, I made this decision yeah, you're, 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 of, of my own volition. <laughs> you know, I'm, not, I'm definitely not trying to uh, pass the blame onto her. I'm just coming to terms with my... I'm on the, for the third step right now. Mm -hmm. right. But yeah, I mean, no, 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 it's not Trisha's fault. I just got lost in the sauce, I think. So this one isn't on the list, but the D'Amelio's? I don't think I ever beef with them. You know, Trisha kept trying to go in, and I, I feel like I defended uh, Yeah, at one point, you were like... I was like, we, uh, we Trisha kept calling Dixie the, the R I don't beef with the D'Amelio's. In fact, I think, they're, I think they're totally fine. I don't see anything wrong with them, like... Uh, compared to some people who are of that stature of fame, I mean, they're they're fine. And Charlie seems like a nice, normal girl. I, I got no problem. Bryce Hall? I don't know if I have a beef with Bryce Hall necessarily. There are so, so many names here. here. I mean, yeah, I don't think there's too much of a beef there. I feel like that started when you had all these Kobe parties probably. Or in Rome. Yeah. Yeah, the Kobe parties. Your interview on front of me is, I think, Bryce Hall moments. Okay, but I, don't, I, I have no beef with Bryce. Okay. Yeah, because since you tweeted at him and said podcast, and he said yes. Yeah, She's yeah, so pretty. Oh, you know what? I think he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, it was a COVID thing. I think it was, yeah. But I, I'm open to having him on. What do you guys think? You want me to find him? Yeah. I can DM him too, or maybe you try, I don't know. But yeah, shut up, Bryce Hall. I mean, a little bit of a douche, but with peace and love. <laughs> like, he wouldn't take offense to that. Okay, <laughs> but he knows he's a little bit of a douche, doesn't he? Probably. That's like his thing. It's like a shit. Yeah. Dan, what you feeling? With peace and love. I can't wait to hear what Dan has to say. I've seen like a second of. Any Bryce Hall content, I don't, I don't really know anything about him. I just, you just, I saw him get beaten up by Austin McRoom, my boy. Yeah, so. Austin. You know, I keep going, this is interesting. Okay, Bill Burr. I don't think Bill Burr. destroy me. The names are still going. This, this show gave what it needed to give. It really, really, really did. How many episodes were there of it? You know the way I want to review the Shane Jeffrey series and the Shane Eugenia series and stuff? I should go back and react to every single episode of Frenemies and review it. Because that shit was... I see. Trauma. Okay. <laughs> Sam Tripoli. Sam Tripoli fucked that guy, did you? Nobody. Gabby Hanna. Oh, that's interesting. What about that one? Oh, Gabby. Gabby. I have no problem with Gabby. Yeah. I don't think she ever did anything like so wrong that 
In fact, I'll just be, I think Gabby... Is being cringe Yeah, being cringe. No, I mean, exactly. it, it, I think Gabby got kind of stiffed in the whole thing. Like, oh, okay, Harvard College is okay. There's a lot more than Gabby just being cringe. And thank you, Dan, for bringing up the Jesse Smiles situation. Thank you, Dan. There's a lot more to Gabby Hanna being the worst than just being cringy. Because trust me, if you could, if you could be guilty of being cringe, she's in jail for that. But she would also be in jail for a lot of other things. Let's get that clear. If we're talking, like, internet here. Okay. I'll just... that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's, I guess there's always something, but we all fuck up. We all say dumb shit. I mean... Ethan! Stop! When you're being told that after you just said, Gabby's not that bad, oh, she's just cringe, you're being told she's an R-word apologist, you're like, mm, we all fuck up. Shh. Sit fine. Stop it. I'm trying to make a lighthearted video here. Stop dragging it down. Stop excusing her. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. But you heard it. She didn't R with anybody. No, but it was her best friend. Her best friend R. I don't know. Yeah, it's fucked up. Hmm. Ugh, yeah, that one's tough. That one thing is tough, but. That she one's tough? So, hard by so many people. So she betrayed her best friend. It's a lot more than just that one's tough, but. Okay. <laughs> this makes me so mad how many people don't play the Jesse Smile situation. It makes me livid. Like, it, it makes me really, really, really angry. Like, like genuine anger. How many people, oh, it happened. And let's talk about it. And let's talk about it happening. Okay. It's a, yeah, and it's supportive. Yeah. Thank you, Olivia, for speaking uh, up. Boiled down, yeah, pretty much. Well, that's, that's, that's some like Real Housewives level of betrayal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we don't. Okay, we don't like Gabby. Sorry, Gabby. We're saying no. Nope, nish. Yeah, people hate Gabby in the chat. <laughs> people are saying, do not forgive. Okay. All right. There you go. So, yeah. Fuck Gabby. Fuck Gabby. Whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys want to be mad at. So there are many names aren't really front of me related. So I don't know if I should keep going. Keep going. Okay. I'm some ordinary gamer. Who are? That's period. Okay. Anything for views? That's old. OJ Simpson. Fuck OJ. <laughs> uh, Nikita Dragon. That's old. I don't know. Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy. Right now I'm saying fuck okay. Dave, but but maybe we'll see. There's a light. There, there may be a bad yeah. redemption there. <laughs> perhaps. Yeah. Uh, Crack Mayo. Crack me up, fuck crack me up. Thank you. Oh, crack oh, crack me up. I'm forgivable. Fuck yeah. Unforgivable. Go ahead. Oh, my uh, Pyro Cynical. Oh, Pyro Cynical? Oh, no, that's old. So. Okay, uh, the Michael Jackson fan base. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. I'm an old fan base, Jesus Christ. But I do say fuck Michael Jackson. I'll never change that. But I, I don't blame people who are like fans. I mean, I get it. There's enough plausible deniability, maybe, to, to like, maybe delude yourself, but he definitely did it. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, Antonio. I fuck so for <laughs> Hey, 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 he, he was nice enough to bro, take a take an ugly girl on a Ferris wheel. That was, you know, big up. Still one of my favorite I can't believe the names are still going. <laughs> Go ahead, shoe nice. Shoe nice, nice are dogs, you just joke your brain. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's never drain all day. Yeah. <laughs> Prank evasion. Prank evasion, fuck that guy. That guy's in fucking some predator prison right now, rotting. Making out with his mom. <laughs> no, dude, that guy's <laughs> fuck, bro. The state of Texas. Oh, the whole state of <laughs> Texas? Well, that, that's, yeah, that's too far. So, like you, that. you get the point that they're gonna continue listing names, okay? I wanna skip to this part, um, Posting, so. that I had seen online. Yeah, uh, Here we go. Ben Shapiro, obviously, obviously not, bestie. not saying sorry. Ben Shapiro, fuck Ben Shapiro forever, I hate that guy. <laughs> I actually like this hat as well. <laughs> Buggy? I don't know, because I made like one little comment and then he like fucking lost his mind. He's been like shitting on me for like a year straight now, like totally on it and just hate posting. So, uh, I can't say that I think Buggy is bestie material. <laughs> and I, in okay. fact, I might even say fuck Buggy at this point. Wow. I mean, oh, no. I'm not even, uh, he just gave that man content for months. Well, he's already, like, he's already saying what he will. Yeah, exactly. Uh, people saying Gary V? Gary V. No, you know what? Can we talk about the fact that they've finished, like, AB has finished his research list of people they beefed and now the chat are like, oh, you missed this person and this person and this person. This show was gold. Frenemies was gold. Like, Lil Tracy? incredible, like, incredible, incredible <laughs> entertainment. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is There's the ending thing. now. I'm calling out to you, man. What was the beef? We were, honestly, we were just oh. making fun of that, his, his yeah. roster thing. Right. And then he threatened us with physical violence in DMs. But, but, I wish that, um, I wish that we were dogs. I just decided, I, I don't want to be with Ice Poseidon, I don't know. He seems like an idiot. The names are still going. Yeah, he was never like By a character on the show. He's still going. Yeah, yeah we talked about him scamming people. Did we? Can add that one arc. I love yeah, love. Uh, he like walked pole or something. Oh. Yeah. Something with like the Sam Pepper dude. 
right? Involved. <laughs> it was actually more recent. Yeah, the NLP, yeah. crypto thing. Okay, so you get the point. They're going to continue listing names and names and names. And then this is the last minute of it to end off the video of them talking about all of the beef that happened on Frenemies. Formed a decision yeah. here before Ellen Keller, of course, fought her. Oh my God. <laughs> Liar. What are you going to hear me say this? Should I can see her? Hear me. Liar and a fraud. Mobility Mary, I wish, yeah, I wish we were friends. Man. It's so tragic that she's gone. We have to go. I think we had the biggest loss. I mean, we, you know, we tried so hard to recover her scooter. We did. We actually even, we got so far as to getting a hold of uh, somebody. It was somebody who was like handling her state. We were up and we tried to get the scooter and it was already gone. We were two weeks late. Yeah. Two weeks late. All right, there you go. So we have Ethan exposing the frenemy beef. There was so much there. There was so many, so much. I want to ask you, I'm closing off this video. Who was your favorite beef? And in the moment of frenemies, like knowing, not knowing what we know now, in the moment of frenemies, who was the person that you liked more? When you were watching it, if you did watch it, did you like Trisha more or Ethan more in terms of who was the better, like, host? Because I would say, I used to say Trisha, because, you know, it was very, like, shock value. But in watching Frenemies back, I would say Ethan, because Ethan had so many moments where he would make sly comments that would almost, like, trump Trisha's, like, full-on jokes. It's really interesting, so let me know that, and also let me know your favorite and least favorite beef on Frenemies. I love you, thank you for watching this video. Me and Garfield will see you later. And I do love a bit of Frenemies catch-up. Alright, I love you, muckers, and I will see you, and I'm gonna go to the Lady Gaga concert, and I'm gonna have a grand old gay time.